All right, so the first order of business is um, actually de defining a template that we're going to use with Mustache.js. That's the whole point, right? So um, looking at example three, kind of as our guide to what we're going to do, um, since we removed, or at least we commented out, um, this string concatenation that we did before, what we have in here, at least the first line in here, is going to be what defines the location of our external template. Now by external we're not moving it to a new file. What we're actually doing is just going to put an HTML um, template in, well go figure, our HTML. So now uh, let me just explain exactly what, what this line is doing over here. Now this line is saying we, we create a new variable and that variable is equal to, now this is a jQuery selector and in this example he's saying that he has an element with an ID of personal te or person template and then over there this HTML is going to grab all of the HTML inside of that element. Okay, so we're not even going to move any further on down in his uh, JavaScript example because before we do that we actually have to have a template defined and then when you look down at the bottom this is what he's referring to so let's copy this code right here and we're gonna paste this into our body now although it's a script tag it's not gonna be read as a JavaScript alright the idea is it's gonna be ignored by the browser uh, it's not gonna be ignored by the browser but it's not gonna render anything for the user to see so now, if you look at the code in between his curly braces, he, these reference what he has um, in his data source up at the top somewhere. You see, he has first name and last name in his data source. Now, we don't have a first name and a last name in our data source. If we go back to our graph uh, endpoint over here we have ID and we have shares so we're gonna have to rename the stuff in these curly braces and actually why don't we go ahead and just get rid of the paragraph line altogether at this point I'm not actually gonna try to format this thing for what we need I just wanna make sure we get it to work so let's do that so first order of business is um, making sure these variables in here are the correct names. So let's just say we'll put ID in there and then we'll put shares in there. So now we have the we've defined the template that uh, Mustache is going to use to put our data into. The other thing I'm going to change to is I'm not in love with this personal temp or person template uh, ID, so I'm going to name it um, shares template, or yeah, shares template. There we go. And then we'll leave it like that. So, um, by the way, before I move on, I kind of noticed that in some of my, in my code here, I got Facebook likes as kind of the values instead of Facebook shares. Um, just for the sake of consistency while you're following along with these videos I won't change it but we're not actually talking about likes anymore we're talking about shares but uh, in summary all we've done so far is define a template or at least define a variable that we call template we haven't done anything yet and then we've done some script that is specific to mustache that says what we're looking for. Now this is still generic JavaScript jQuery, but all of a sudden inside of here we have some mustache specific syntax. But even if we save this and we you know check out what the results are, we're not going to see anything because we haven't actually executed anything yet.